okay so the next type of decomposition is electrolytic decomposition in electrolytic decomposition we'll be using electricity to decompose a reactant into two or more products okay now the first thing you have to understand what is a good conductor of electricity and a bad conductor of electricity now any material through which electricity can be passed is known as good conductor of electricity and any material in which electricity cannot be passed it is known as what bad conductor of electricity now one simple question i want to ask whether pure water pure water is a good conductor of electricity or a bad conductor of electricity yes it is a bad conductor of electricity okay it is bad conductor of electricity and electricity cannot pass through it okay now there will be a, a doubt arising but pani mein se to electricity pass hota hi remember i told the word pure water in pure water there is no free electrons okay since there is no free electrons free electrons is not there therefore electricity will not be passing through it now the tap water the water that is coming in our house the tap water in that there will be sodium chloride that is nacl will be there some type of metals will be there okay from the underground some metals will be there so that is causing it what their free electrons is causing and so electricity is passing through the tap water okay now in this experiment also we are taking water here okay we are taking pure water in it to make it good conductor of electricity we are adding a dilute sulfuric acid to it okay we are adding few drops of dilute sulfuric sulfuric acid okay now here in this experiment see there are two electrodes okay two electrodes one is known as the anode and the other one is known as the cathode now last year i told you that anode mein kya hoga every anions will be going to anode and every cations will be going to cathode okay anions yani a n i o n s a n i o n s okay anions mein means what a negative ions okay so anode is basically a negative electrode anode is a negative electrode if anode is a negative electrode what will be cathode positive electrode okay ab ye negative electrode mein okay negative electrode mein battery ke sath mein negative hi connect karunga to kya ho jayega ripple ho jayega okay so that's why a positive charge is attached to it remember it is not the positive electrode positive charge is attached to the negative electrode remember that is very important mostly every children write this one this is positive so this is a positive electrode it was it is considered but it is not like that okay it is a negative electrode and the battery charge is given is what positive okay that's why the opposite charges attract okay now cations cathode is a positive electrode and the battery attached to it is what negative okay negative charges attached to it okay now we are taking uh, test tubes are filled with same amount of water okay now uh, uh, when it is electrolytic decomposition water ke andar aapko pata water ka formula kya hai h2o okay h2o yani uske andar do cheez honge ek to kya hoga hydrogen hoga aur dusra kaun sa hoga oxygen hoga now oxygen is a negative okay oxygen is an anion and hydrogen is the cations okay last year you have learned it already oxygen kya karega oxygen electrons ko le raha hai okay so when it is gaining of electron it is getting what negative charge and hydrogen is what giving away electrons and so it is getting what positive charge so oxygen is an anion so it is forming at what anode and hydrogen is a cation and is forming at the cathode okay now you remember you know the formula h2o okay there is hydrogen two quantity and oxygen only one quantity so is the volume of gas collected the same in both the test tubes so it will not be same now hydrogen ka do hai aur oxygen ka kya hai ek hai now look here or hydrogen it will be more and oxygen it will be what lesser two quantities of hydrogen and one quantity of oxygen if you are telling in two is to one ratio okay now test the gas one by bringing a candle close to the test tube okay now remember one thing whenever hydrogen is uh, getting burned okay getting flame okay it is it is getting a blue color flame okay it is getting a blue color flame and also whenever a candle is burned okay it will give pop up sound okay remember the word pop up sound okay jaise hai na there's in diwali mein kit kat kit kat jo crackers hote hai uske na jaise sound hota pop jaise sound hota hai waise pop up sound form hota hai jab hydrogen gas burn hota hai okay so that is the thing and oxygen when oxygen is uh, getting flame what it will be yellowish or, or yellowish orange color if the flame will be there and when oxygen is there means it will be continuously the flame will be continuous okay so 
So we have already discussed which gas is present in each test tube. So in uh, cathode it is oxygen, sorry, hydrogen and anode it is uh, oxygen. Okay, so look, look at the exam, uh, this activity. Electrolysis of water. If electricity is used for decomposing a substance, it is called electrolysis. When electricity is passed through acidic water, it decomposes into oxygen and hydrogen gases. But water is a bad conductor of electricity. Therefore, a little salt or a little alkali is added to water for easy conduction of electricity. Dissolve a little quantity of acid in water. Pour the solution in an apparatus as shown here. Fill two test tubes with solution and see that no air bubbles are present. Invert these test tubes over the iron nails. These are called electrodes. Connect these outer electrodes to the positive and negative terminals of a battery. You can see that gases are produced in the two test tubes. After 30 minutes, examine the volume of each gas formed in the test tubes. Are the volumes of gases equal? Introduce a glowing splinter into the test tube in which less amount of gas is formed. The splinter burns brilliantly. Therefore, we can say this gas is oxygen. Introduce another glowing splinter into the test tube in which more volume of gas is formed and observe it. This splinter is put out with a pop sound. But the gas burns with blue flame. Hydrogen possess this property. Therefore, we can say that the gas present in this test tube is hydrogen. In this way, sending electricity through water and decomposing into oxygen and hydrogen is called electrolysis. Okay. So the process of sending electricity okay, through water and decomposes into oxygen hydrogen is called electrolysis. Okay. So we'll go into the notes. So I told as pure water is a very poor conductor of electricity since its molecules do not have free electrons to travel. Okay, and the other thing, okay, only a small amount of electricity that is 20 micro ampere. Okay, 20 um, min, uh, milliampere, sorry, 20 milliampere is required for a human being to die. Okay, milliampere means 10 raised to minus 3. Only that much of uh, electricity is needed for a person to die. Okay, now tap water is a better conductor of electricity as it contains NaCl, yeah, yeah, sodium chloride, or it is known as common salt. Okay, two metals in various levels. Okay, it can be NaCl or metals in it, and so it allows the flow of the electrons, and so it is a good conductor of electricity. Now, H2 hydrogen gas is liberated at cathode, as I told, it is a cation, and oxygen is anion, so it is at anode. And H2O2 means it's the ratio is what two is to one. Hydrogen ke do hai or oxygen ka one. So H2O is this 2 is to ratio 1. So the volume of the gas collected in both the tubes are, is not the same. Okay. So that is about electrolysis. Next, photochemical decomposition. I told you photons. Photons means what? The energy, the packet of energy that is coming from the sunlight is known as the photons. If the energy of sunlight in the form of photons is used to carry out the decomposition reaction, it is called photochemical decomposition. Okay, so photons are used to decompose a, react, a reactant into two products is known as photochemical decomposition. Now in this thing, we are taking a silver halide. Okay, halide. Halogens means what? There is chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine. You have to remember this thing. Later on, later on chapters, it will be there. So you'll be more understanding. I'm just giving you a glance of it. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Fluorine chlorine, bromine, iodine. These four things are known as the halogens. Okay. Now here we are taking silver chloride. So silver halogen also you can tell it. Okay. Silver chloride in a china dish. Okay. What is its color? So it is white in color. Now place this china dish in sunlight for some time. Now what will happen? Ye white color jo tha, is color mein change ho jayega? Gray color. Okay. Now this same silver chloride is used in the photographic film. Okay. This is an important question, which is a, write the equation of photographic film. Okay. What write the decomposition reaction of the photographic film. So you have to basically write what this formula. 2 AgCl sunlight ke samne jayega tha, 2 Ag plus chlorine. So 
AgCl that is silver. Ag means silver and Cl means chlorine. Two AgCl is when it is uh, present in the sun, uh, presence of sunlight, it is converted into two Ag, two silver and two atoms of chlorine. Okay, this is due to the decomposition of silver chloride into silver and chloride by light. Also, we can say what two uh, uh, silver bromine, two uh, sil silver bromide, it is converted into silver and bromine. Okay, now we'll look into the activity of this one also. Aim formation of silver metal from silver chloride in sunlight. Requirement China dish, silver chloride salt. Activity Take some salt of silver chloride in a china dish. Observe the color of the silver chloride is in white and place this china dish in sunlight for some time. Observe the color of the silver chloride after some time. The white silver chloride turns gray in sunlight. This is due to the decomposition of silver chloride into silver and chloride by light. 2 AgCl gives rise to 2 Ag plus Cl2. Okay, hope you understood it. Okay, now this is another activity. Okay, after that, take uh, about 2 grams of barium hydroxide. Hydroxide, you remember OH, okay, in a test tube. Add 1 gram of ammonium chloride. Okay, you're adding ammonium chloride to and mix with the help of a glass roll. Touch the bottom of the test tube with your palm. What do you feel? Is this an exothermic or endothermic reaction? Okay, jab heat ja raha ho, toh kaun sa reaction hai ga? Endothermic. Agar heat nahi ja raha, andar ra means energy is coming inside, then that is known as what? Endothermic reaction. Okay, just look into the activity next. See now the temperature is 23 degree. That is the room temperature. We have added both the thing. Pouring a little water between the flask and the bowl. After some time, see. So the water between the flask and the boat froze. Okay, so it is formed into ice basically. So that is absorbing of energy. Okay, the system removed energy Sorry. from the water, causing it into freeze into a solid ice. And such type of reaction is known as the endothermic reaction. The heat is going to be exothermic. The heat is going to be exothermic. The heat is going to be endothermic reaction. The heat is going to be exothermic. 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 So, when it is okay, absorbing of energy, that is known as endothermic reaction. So reaction in which energy is absorbed are known as endothermic reaction. Okay, exothermic में बाहर जा रहा है और endothermic में अंदर आ रहा है. Okay, hope you are able to understand this thing. 